guys, so it's Netta of course, and in this video I'm here to help you guys plan a very special, inexpensive Valentine's Day night. So we're just going to start off with what's on my phone. And the first thing that makes every place romantic, no matter where you go, if this item is there, you know it's about to be a good time and you know it's going to be romantic. And that's going to be rose petals, okay? Rose petals sets any type of mood. It makes any room romantic. I kid you not. If you just have some basic red rose petals, you already know what time it is. It's love. It just says love everywhere and as you guys have seen in a few of my previous videos I've been talking about red lights I don't know what it is about red lights but it just puts you in like a 50 shades of gray type mood and mindset and you just like yeah like you know the red lights really do the thing and if you don't know where to get the red lights I would try five below Best Buy and I think I said Walgreens believe it or not that's $5 from 5 Below, $10 from Walgreens, and I would say about $29 plus for Best Buy. In addition to the rose petals and the red lights, I would just add some tea lights around the house. Like, um, you know, you can even put them in the, like, red room, you know. Roses, candles, red. Come on now. That's a lit Valentine's Day. And even if you want to have, like your bedroom set up all nice and then have like rose petals candles and a red light in the bathroom too and set up a nice little like bathtub thing that's really romantic that's cute and i would love it ladies this one is for you to give to your man and it's just gonna be some lingerie okay for valentine's day i would definitely go with some bright red lingerie because i think we can just all agree that red looks good on everyone's skin tone you know what I'm saying so red lingerie it's gonna do it for him girl it's gonna do it for him <laughs> now for alcohol if you want to be classy and you want to keep this thing going you know you could go for champagne you know do Moet or Bel Air if you want to be like bougie on a budget but if you really don't care what you're drinking you might as well get a glass of Henny freak the class and Turn up with your man. Turn up with your girl. Who cares? Here is another thing that could really top off this Valentine's Day night, okay? You could have an indoor movie night. At Target, they have this, like, popcorn bowl box thing. Well, you know, like, the bowls that you get at the cup bowls, the big ones that you get at the movies. They have that at Target, and it comes with two things of popcorn. I think it's butter and kettle. And then it comes with the movie theater M&M's and I think a box of Sour Patches. But yeah, that's really cute. It's themed for Valentine's Day and it's inexpensive. I think it's only like $12 or something like that. I got one for my mom and dad and then I got one for me and Bay for Valentine's Day. Anyway, moving on. If you guys are doing an indoor Valentine's Day theme or whatever and you still want to have like a classy dinner, you can order out from places like Olive Garden, Red Lobster, Cheesecake Factory. You could do pickup or you could actually um, get some of these places to deliver because DoorDash delivers um, the Cheesecake Factory. I know that. To talk about little gifts, you know, to give your significant other, I would definitely say, I have to look at my phone for this because I don't know, I forgot. Um, I would definitely say like the little heart box candies. Um, I did find like, well, I do find that, like, the, um, the chocolates, they're not that good. They're not that good. Let's just be honest, okay? They're nasty. Especially the ones with the filling in it. They're really nasty. So, get something that your partner likes, okay? Because they make the, um, heart-shaped candies with, um, sour patches, Snickers, if they really do still like chocolate. Um, they do the sweet tarts, you know? So, those are just a couple of options that you could do besides the regular degular chocolates for Valentine's Day. And if you guys have an edible arrangement or a fruitables, because I know it was a place called fruitables. Chocolate covered fruits, always a plus for any holiday if you're trying to like win your significant other over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's a good one also. Um, so, 
besides the candies, you could also do like matching things, like matching bracelets or something, you know, something that a guy and a girl can obviously match with together. Um, if that's way too much for you, like, well, that can't be way too much because I'm about to say something that's way too much. You could also do matching tattoos, but I would not do matching tattoos with someone you're not sure about, okay? And do not, do not get anybody's name on you unless it's your sons, okay? Or your daughters or your mamas or your daddies or somebody like that. Do not get your significant other's tattoo name anywhere. Sorry. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't have faith in your relationship. I do, completely. But don't do that. Do not do that. Or you could do like a clothing item, something like that. Something that you think would flatter your significant other or just something that you think would fit their style to show that, you know, you pay attention, you see, you know what I'm saying? You catch an A vibe or whatever. So I hope this video helped you guys come up with the indoor Valentine's Day theme. I hope this helped guys, okay? Um, yeah, make sure your Valentine's Day is lit. Don't spend it by yourself, even if you just go out with your friend. Shit. Fuck it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, comments, or whatever, just write me on Instagram or leave a comment under this video. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you guys have a great day.